Hey guys, welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about the break keyword. Now we talked about the break keyword earlier when we were talking about switch statements. So you might wanna go check that video out if you need some more practice with that. But essentially, this keyword here is going to prevent us from falling through from this statement and executing the rest of these statements, which we definitely do not wanna do. So make sure you understand how that works, but there's also another use, and that is to get out of loops. So I'm gonna show you an example. It might not be the most practical example, but then I'll show you something a little bit more useful. But let's first look at the functionality, and then we'll be able to generalize that for other uses. So let's say we have this big loop that counts lots of numbers, and we want to break out of this loop earlier without going through the entire thing. So we might use the break keyword. In this situation, it's kind of pointless because as soon as the for loop starts, it's going to hit break and then it exits the for loop altogether. It doesn't go to the next iteration. It goes all the way past it and just skips all of the, the rest of the iterations. So that's dumb, but you might have it after a conditional. So like, let's say if i is equal to, to let's say, 6, then we're going to break. And just to see this, we're going to print something. You can see it prints for i equals zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this comparison evaluates to true and the break statement is executed. So that is how the break keyword works. And this is a very simple example, but one really good use is for indefinite loops. So an indefinite loop is similar to an infinite loop, but it's not something you literally want to run infinitely, you just wanna run it indefinitely until something happens and then you want it to end. So you might see something like this, while one or while true, and then we're going to do something indefinitely. And then at the end, we're going to have some situation that makes it stop. So as long as this thing evaluates to true, then we're going to break out of this while loop. Otherwise, the while loop is going to run forever. So just to think of an example, let's say we are trying to crack some passcode or some number or something. And I'm just gonna hard code that here, but obviously it's not gonna work that way in the real life of hacking. <laughs> but you know, this is, a, this, is, this is a tutorial series. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I is going to be the number we're, we use as a guess. We're gonna start at zero. So if, if we end up getting the right guess, then we can break out of this loop. So if i is equal to the number, we need to break out. Now we need to make sure we increment i, otherwise this is just literally going to compare zero to this number forever. <laughs> that's not indefinite, that's infinite. So in this situation, we it should be working and we can prove it by printing a statement here. And just for fun, let's print i. So that way we can kind of keep track of what's actually happening in this while loop. Now let's execute this. Let me add a space here. Uh, looks like my computer froze. You guys seeing this? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that's about, but it, it is printing the numbers. It's just not putting a space there. So you'd, you'd want to put a space there, but eventually it does find two, three, two, three, two because you can see it right here, two, three, two, three, two, and then it says we found it. So that's exactly how the break statement works. And even if you're using a loop where you, it's not indefinite, if at some point, uh, if at some point it's going to get the answer, you can use the break statement to get out of the loop to not waste cycles, because it might be that after a particular number is found, we don't have to continue processing and we can save processing by using the break keyword. So that's pretty cool. The next video, we're going to be talking about the continue statement, which is similar, but definitely not the same thing. And it's, it's used a little differently. So definitely check that out, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm, I'm sorry that my uh, computer decided to, to stop working here. <laughs> All right. Peace out.